A prison guard on the other side of the law for this incident caught on camera. It's unprofessional, it's abusive, and it's shameful. Tonight, a corrections officer charged in a pepper spray attack. And we have highlighted the incident where the guard appears to walk up to the inmate and pepper spray him. Tonight, prosecutors say he had no apparent reason for doing it. CBS 4's Peter Dench just spoke to the state attorney, and he's live at her office. Peter. Well, Rota Bay, Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez-Rundle says she was given this new surveillance tape by the Inspector General. The incident happened last July, but new details are coming to light. She said the pepper spraying at the Southwest Miami-Dade prison was neither provoked nor warranted in this case. Surveillance tape shows inmates in a dormitory of the Everglades Correctional Institution being told to get on the floor, and then suddenly you see pepper spray being used on this inmate, Mazard McMillan. See this here? That's this pepper spray gun. I don't know if you can catch that there. He now sprays at him. What's very disturbing here is clearly a man that is handcuffed along with 30 others, inmates that are in a confined area, uh, was just sort of going about his own business. And here you have a, a, a veteran colonel coming up and pepper spraying him for no apparent reason whatsoever. State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle says she is outraged by the actions of a 30 year veteran, Colonel Patrick Riggins. It's unprofessional, it's abusive, and it's shameful to think that we have people that have the power and the ability and the access can actually take advantage and abuse inmate populations such as this. It happened July 27th of last year. Riggins is charged with battery on a detainee, a misdemeanor, and official misconduct by a public servant, a felony. The state attorney says that's because he directed a corrections officer to compose a false report saying the inmate was pepper sprayed because he tried to slip out of his hand restraints. Florida Department of Corrections Secretary Julie Jones said, our department takes all cases of inappropriate and unauthorized force very seriously, and any officer found engaging in this type of misconduct is subject to appropriate discipline. Fernandez Rundle hopes other inmates will be encouraged to come forward. But every now and again, you get an example where someone has taken advantage of their authority. They have used that to abuse someone who's completely helpless. Now, the Florida Department of uh, Corrections Secretary also said the actions of Riggins are unacceptable and do not represent the thousands of other corrections officers who work very hard for the state. The state is moving to take steps to fire Riggins, according to the department. It's not known if other charges will be filed in this case. We're live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.